These guys are back to being twos. It's not nothing. If you want to make your way up to the top, you can't be above doing some twos. But how much are you making to run down the hill and ride up it? 20 cents. So uh, it's kind of a brutal uphill. There's more demand than supply. Some stations are always empty, some stations are many times full. And there are often times where you can't even find a bike. There's always been this goal to have riders helping rebalance, redistribute bikes when and where they're needed. If you get 100 points, 100 points in a month is a lot. You're in the top, like, very small group. That'd be two dollars. We have a 10-person leaderboard. Each month it resets. Who is on the top of that leaderboard? I saw somebody had some insane amount of points. I thought, that's a scare. It's so far above and beyond. And later I encountered the guy, and uh, he's for real. Nobody beats JM, the fable JM. Duh, I just call him Points King. And if you win the leaderboard, that's a $100 gift card. Top five get prizes from $100 down to $25. The record is 4,000 something. Last day of December when I posted my previous high score. You know, it was in the teens with wind chills and the single digits. There were not many point incentives that day. I was having a hard time even finding like two pointers. That was a day when I scraped by to get to an arbitrary dumb number of 4,444 points for the month. But I just set that as a goal. Yeah, and that, that was the day I should have stepped back and analyzed that day. Like, I didn't enjoy any of this stuff. So if I do some math, that's like probably somewhere around five hundred dollars. I hit this goal and that felt kind of nice. You're going to get this subset of outlier of crazy people, and you always want to see our, who can do it the fastest, who can do it the best. And if you introduce it into a sample size like New York City, and you're going to, without a doubt, run into people like myself that are just like, hey, let me uh, let me go a little nuts here. It's gotten it's gotten to a point where I I can. I can see it from more of a sober mind and recognize that I don't need it anymore. Like the amount of money relative to the amount of time spent and mental energy spent is no longer really worth it for me. This month I plan on having it be my final expression of whatever in this program. Psychosis of the city bike uh, angel. <laughs> The leaderboard becomes the crux of that. The first month, October, I got third place. In November, I got second. I always check the top 10 scores and cut and paste into a spreadsheet and see who was who and you know who's catching up on you. You gotta set a good lead above them. I found myself on the leaderboard in November and decided, okay, now I'm getting a little fired up. And on the last day of November, I was still in fifth place. I went in, had some dinner, I looked again. The guy behind me is moving, he's on the move. I said, oh no, <laughs> I gotta get back out. You know, I had family in my house, they're like, you're not going out, are you? I said, yeah, I got to. So I went out, it was raining, I was out till 11 at night, just, you know, doing it. And I was kind of hooked after that. Yeah, it's dangerous, you gotta be really, really conscious. You've got to see everything from all angles, you know, pedestrians, cars, other bikes, lights changing, cops. It's, it's kind of exciting. And I'm very careful. If you've ever seen me out there and you think I'm reckless or trying to take risks, no. I'm just trying to get from point A to B as quickly and safely as I can. Still three here, now it's neutral. We flipped it from plus one to neutral. Still worth, uh, still worth doing. Dog runner, I guess, would be the technical term, more like exercise focused. You know, I charge in between a, what a dog walker charges and a personal trainer might charge, well, and I tend to deal with more affluent clientele. A couple of my clients, they've asked me to start training the dog to run alongside bikes, and it's win-win. They're getting a run out of it, I get it bike angel points.
you become like a lab monkey. You gotta bang, 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 bang. You get back to the station, you put your key in, you're that lab monkey getting that green light and going, ah, you know, I got the hit. This is a good biathlon workout. You can run and ride, so this has kind of fired me up again. I'm a type 1 diabetic. It helps regulate my blood sugar. So I think I've lost about 15 pounds. I do this hard day, I would say maybe six hours. That's a one. With, with the leaderboard, you can like in real time be tracking who's scoring what. Yeah, and if you look at the map long enough, all the different stations show you in real time. Uh, there's now this many bikes here, there's this many docks here. Once you get so familiar with the map and seeing where the numbers are, seeing how someone's numbers are increasing, you can get an idea of exactly where they are. And yeah, that, that part of it gets kind of weird and voyeuristic, I think. You know, I'm like in too deep. I think we flip. One minute to spare. You did well. Guys, this is still three. He likes it, I know. Good, man. Yeah, try and grind out that third place. I, I believe in you this one. See, this is why I don't check. I don't want to know where I am. You know, that's my thing. I don't look. These guys always, you know. That's smart. Well, are you so and so? Are you so and so? That's smart. I say I'm XYZ. <laughs> He's A B. I, I, no, I, don't, stop, stop. I, I don't know what A B is, but, <laughs> but I don't go out pushing bikes right, in the middle of the night. Take it easy, man. I know where to be at the right time, right place. I can forecast where the numbers are going to be. I've gotten some loops that are nine point loops and I can do like nine to 10 of those in a half an hour. Especially this month when I'm trying to go out in the blades of glory, that's that's like my whole day is going from client to client, running with dogs, and then all my free time, just hitting it, just racking them up. I get some mental clarity that I've Maybe been lacking lately as where like the, the map and like thinking about missing out on point opportunities lately starts to like weigh, weigh on me a bit mentally. My sleep was getting all thrown off and my reality was getting all like it was just being replaced by the system and like, the just close my eyes and see the map everywhere and when I'm dreaming I just start dreaming about the map and I'd have to like open my eyes and tell myself you didn't just see, no, you, were just, you weren't just looking at the real map and seeing this crazy big farm you could do. That, that was just in your head. I can kind of step back from it with some satisfaction. Yeah, April was, uh, by design, was a very taxing experience. I successfully doubled my previous high score that I set in December, 8,888 points. And over 2,400 bikes I made like $982. A, a grueling 30-day period. I'm ready to close the book. Anyone with the ability, both physically and with strategizing and knowing the system, anyone who can do what I did in April should have the sense not to, really. It was rough. It was really rough and I came close to losing it. <laughs> with my leaderboard shenanigans and craziness, if I could have inspired people in any way, that makes me feel pretty good. Let's like make freaking everybody a bike angel, right? Because for fitness reasons, like move, you know? It's an incentive to move our tush. As soon as you bring another bike, it's already, it's already gone. And so you're seeing your actions very quickly, like be useful to someone. I'm excited for more people to get involved with it at a more sane level. I would like to transform this city into a biking city. Hi folks, thanks for watching my short. If you liked it, click the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe.